of uh, the India Habitat Center and the Working Group on Alternative Strategies. Welcome to this discussion on the triumph of Trump, implications for the US, the world, and India. We have a very distinguished panel. We have Ambassador Lalit Mansingh, former Foreign Secretary and Indian Ambassador to the United States. Dr. Ram Gopal Agarwala, who is an honorary senior fellow at the NCAER and formerly the World Bank's uh, chief uh, economist in Beijing. Uh, then we have uh, Dr. Manoj Joshi, a uh, very senior veteran journalist and presently a distinguished fellow at the ORF and uh, Professor Achin Vinay, a former professor of political science at Delhi University and otherwise a very well-known political scientist. And we have uh, the moderator, Ambassador K.P. Fabian, a uh, visiting professor at the Indian Society of International Law. And uh, that's myself, Suhas Purkar, the convener of the Working Group on Alternative Strategies. Actually, this is the second meeting we are having at the Habitat Center. Uh, the working group in next year, early next year, will be turning 25, and we've been having all our meetings uh, at the India International Center all these years. But we thought that we'd probably, you know, uh, not just confine ourselves to one uh, place and move out a little bit. So we have moved out just across the road also. I mean, we continue having our meetings at IIC, but we thought we'd do it here also. Uh, the, the fifth uh, uh, speaker, Professor K.P. Vijayalakshmi, Professor, Center for Canadian, U.S. and Latin American Studies at JNU, will probably be joining us in a little while. Uh, she's got, got probably held up. Has been uh, the immigrants getting into, I mean, over hundreds of years, getting into the United States. So I just want to quote what you have on the Statue of Liberty from Emma Lazarus. Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free, the wretched refuse of your teeming shore. Send these, the homeless, tempest tossed to me. I lift my lamp beside the golden door. So I hope the U.S. remains firm on these values. Thank you. Over to Ambassador Fabian. Thank you, Sunas. Uh, we have lost a little time, but uh, only Trump could have brought all of us together <laughs> in such large numbers. Because what is interesting is that uh, the Chinese uh, uh, took an underwater drone and uh, they agreed to give it back, but then uh, Trump uh, tweeted saying that the Ch China should keep it. <laughs> Which shows that he is a little unpredictable. And then in the tweet, uh, he sort of had a problem with the spelling of unprecedented. He made it S. So he's always thinking of being a president. <laughs> now, um, what uh, we are trying to do is to look at uh, the impact of Trump. Uh, Geopolitics, uh, geoeconomics, because he has some doubts about the usefulness of NAFTA. He has almost killed the EU, uh, US uh, transatlantic trade and investment <coughs> partnership. And uh, then we also want to look at his possible impact on war and peace, war going on in uh, Syria in Yemen, and of course, we are naturally interested in impact on India, various aspects, not only H-1B visa, but other aspects also. But our distinguished panelists are free to speak on anything which in their view matters. Uh, I was only highlighting one or two thoughts which came to my mind, uh, not at all exhaustive. 
And uh, as regards the time frame, uh, the distinguished panelists have agreed to speak uh, for about 15 minutes or less so that uh, we can have time for uh, some discussion, which is the most important part of uh, such an evening. So we start by requesting uh, Ambassador Lalit Mansi. Uh, thank you, Mr. Morkar, and uh, my dear colleague, Ambassador Fabian. Um, as I was going through the list of the seven experts, a thought struck me. Are we the seven blind men of Hindustan who are trying to define an elephant they have not seen? A thought. Uh, 